Glory to the Lord God Almighty, the Maker and the Possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Agbona. The Bible says in Romans chapter 9, verse 26, in a place where it was said of them, You are not my people, it shall be said, You are my people. The scripture is clear. The Bible says in the book of Joshua that Joshua did all that he was commanded of the Lord by Moses. Joshua was commanded to give the people of Israel the land. And so God fulfilled his part of the covenant. He gave them the land of Canaan with the warning in Deuteronomy chapter 28. It's clear. If you will depart from my ways and do and behave like the nations that I'm evicting, then also the land will vomit you out. God's covenant has conditions. So the conditions were if they walk in righteousness, they retain the land. If they walk in wickedness, they are driven out of the land. God is not in the process of doing what he completed. In the time of Joshua. No. He has completed it. And so that issue of throwing people out of is done away with. The Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All have sinned, come short of the glory of God. Jesus made a clear statement. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters who are Christians. Do you think that God is going to lower his standard for any ethnic group? That any ethnic group or nationality will come out and say, we are the chosen of God, we are walking into heaven, and we don't believe in Jesus we don't like him. We don't even like you Christians. We walk into heaven. Why then is all this nonsense fight over being the chosen people? That nation of Israel was called the people of God because they were the ones worshipping God amongst all the nations. Then the new covenant came because they couldn't keep the old covenant. And the new covenant was the target was the promise God made to Abraham. So it didn't come as a plan B. It was the plan A. The Old Testament was just the interim interim um, activity or interim process to get people ready for the new covenant. The new covenant has come in Christ Jesus and the old is done away with. And so the people of God are those that are serving God through Jesus Christ by faith in him. People from every tribe, nation, and tongue. If you don't understand that, you don't know the new covenant. If you don't understand that the people of God are not any nationality, but those that call upon the name of the Lord by faith in Christ Jesus. Pray for every human being. Do not desire the destruction of anyone and do not feel superior to anybody claiming a biological lineage. This is the error Satan wants people to have so that they walk in their sins. You see, some sins are cryptic. You may, the sin is not fornication. It's not murder. It's not uh, 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 lust, but pride. When you have a pride that and feel superior based on your ethnicity, God resists the proud. Satan has gotten you from the back. The devil is crafty. And let me tell you this. Any understanding, interpretation, or revelation of the scriptures that produces pride, wickedness, arrogance, racism, is not from the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the author of the scriptures. And 
He is the one who explains it to us. The Bible says the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. So if you are not getting your interpretation of scriptures from the Holy Spirit, it will bring death. It will just be letters. You using your head. And that is why I wonder why people go to rabbis who don't believe in Jesus Christ to interpret them, to them the scriptures for them to believe in Jesus Christ. It's stupid. Pardon my language, but it's just the truth. It's the truth. You can't, you can't go to someone who hates Jesus to teach you how to serve Jesus. Are they getting their interpretation by the Spirit of God? No. The letter kills because the fruit of the Spirit is produced by the Spirit's work in your life. If you get your understanding of scriptures from the Holy Spirit who authored the scriptures, it will produce in you his character. And let me tell you, the Bible says that God is going to judge those who are living in unrighteousness and those who support them, who encourage them. Who are pleased with those that walk on righteousness. So if you feel, well, I'm not doing that, I'm not hurting people, but you are in support of those things. You are in support of people that are doing such things. You are just as guilty. May the Lord give us understanding of his word. God bless you.